exists. <laughs> that is great, right? Yeah, it's all right. Well, uh, this hasn't happened to me since college. The different things that we get to deal with this year are Lucas has been a fantastic uncle to uh, little Jamie, Nathan Haley's son. Post God for Jamie Scott. He's released his first novel, uh, An Unkindness of Ravens. It wasn't a New York bestseller, but one said, you know, this, this, this guy has a fresh voice. It's, it's very different. And so now he's, he's at that point in his life where he's got writer's block. And he's trying to get over the hump and find his own truth and find his voice. Well, I've written a few sentences. Uh-huh. And deleted them because they sucked. Luke, this is serious. I can't be your editor if I don't have anything to edit. Lucas is really interesting because Lucas Scott had three pursuits when he was leaving high school. He was in love with Peyton Sawyer, and uh, he was writing a novel, and he was going off to coach basketball. Being on the sidelines, that works for me. It works for me, being, being the man, being the adult, being able to, to instruct and, 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 and use my education of the game and, and just take it all and put it into one and create um, a great relationship and a family among these kids. Whitey's going to pass the torch to him. Um, obviously, there has been a different basketball coach in Tree Hill in the four years uh, since. We won't meet him. But Lucas will be coming home to coach the Ravens. Well, congratulations, man. You are the new Tree Hill Ravens. Let's go to work. So I'd walk in and I always look behind that desk, but I never, in the entire first four seasons, I never went behind the desk. Not even like just messing around, go behind the desk, never walk behind that desk. When I walked around it and looked at the office from that view, it was very different. It, it was, uh, was kind of cool. I, I enjoyed it. Obviously, he still loves writing and chasing that dream, but I also think that uh, basketball is very significant in his life, and, and being able to bring him home uh, and still have the influence of the Ravens team is uh, something that we are interested in exploring. Oh, bye, buddy. I love you. Lucas is very much becoming Keith, and, and that's one of the reasons I wanted to have a little bit more scruff, a little bit more facial hair this year, because that's, that's who Keith was. He's just kind of this rough, rugged, you know, guy's guy. And to, to have the position where you're talking to people and, and speaking from places of wisdom and always having the right things to say, even though half the time you're probably wrong, I still enjoy it. It's one thing to talk about having dreams in high school. We all do. You know, it's another thing to pursue those dreams or find that it's not going to be as easy as you thought it was, but is there some voice inside you that compels you to try harder, that compels you to keep pushing? The show has always been about what you want, what you're willing to do to get it, and what's right and wrong about the pursuit.